We are so excited to have you here with us tonight. I'm Kim Miles. This is my fabulous business partner, Melissa. And we are the co-creators of Recreate. So we're excited for you tonight to get just a taste of what Recreate is all about. So we're gonna have some fun. There's gonna be some entertainment and everything designed to get those creative juices flowing. Just a couple of housekeeping tips. We have a producer with us, Kim Grimes. Thank you very much, Kim. Reach out to her via chat uh, for any technical issues or questions. She'll be happy to help out. Also, we're recording this tonight, uh, but the discussions, the debriefs, the breakout rooms, uh, everything that's you will not be recorded. <laughs> so don't worry about that. Um, for the performances, you also may wanna change the view up in the right. I don't know how familiar you are, you are with the Zoom, but if you wanna change the view to speaker view when we get started with performances, it's just, you'll get to see a little bit more. Um, great, let's get started. All right, we're gonna get started with, of course, a cocktail or a mocktail. So grab that surprise and delight bag that you got and in it is champagne or some sparkling water. And there's also a little bag that has your cocktail mixer and it's a kit. So open it up and get ready because we've invited Kenzie Kendrick from Liquid Caterers and she's gonna walk us through how to make a specially designed recreate cocktail. So take it away, Kenzie. Thank you guys. Can you hear me okay? We can. Awesome, awesome. Well, first of all, I'm honored to be here. So thank you so much for inviting me to be a part of this awesome virtual event. Um, like you mentioned, I am Kinsey. This is our cocktail kitchen here um, in Chandler, Arizona. And we are um, typically doing live events is what our business has been formed on. But obviously, there has been a twist and we had to shake things up and we are doing virtual events. So we're blessed to be here to do the recreate cocktail with you. So we're gonna get started because we wanna kick off this amazing evening um, with an awesome cocktail or mocktail. And what I'm gonna have you guys do, like they had mentioned, please take out your ingredients. And we're gonna start, if you don't have a cocktail shaker, that's okay. If you have maybe a mason jar, or you might have a cocktail shaker that looks like this. We're here in Arizona. We obviously, lots of us have um, thermal flasks, bottles that have a lid. So get something that you can put a lid on because we are gonna do a little bit of shaking. Um, so the very first step we're gonna do is in our shaker tin, you got a little bag of cocktail cabochons, okay? So these are infused sugar cubes that you're gonna put one in your shaker tin. So in your shaker tin or whatever you're going to be using to shake up your cocktail. That goes in and then we're going to add in one tablespoon of water. So in our cocktail kitchen, we teach how to use jiggers, right? This is a measuring device. On this end, I've got two ounces and on this end, it's one ounce. Not all jiggers are created equal. So you may have this rolling in your drawer and not certain what it's used for. It's to measure out our ingredients. We want to create a balanced amazing cocktail, but we wanna make it the same over and over again. So when you look at your jigger, if you have one at home, look, it's usually stamped on the outside or marked on the inside. So you wanna make sure you know what you're measuring. If you don't have a jigger, a tablespoon is equal to half an ounce, okay? So we're gonna take a tablespoon of water and put that into our, our um, shaker tin or whatever you guys are gonna be using to make your cocktail, okay? And that is going, we're gonna set it aside for a minute because we have a little bit of work. I'm gonna make you guys earn your cocktail today. You also have a blood orange. And I forgot to tell you, your cabochons are a blood orange cardamom cabochon. Okay, so you wanted to bring in that little fall um, spice into the, your, your cocktail tonight. So with your orange, I would love the tools that I would like you to have are a juicer, you don't have one, your hand will work completely fine. You may want to use a towel. It could get a little messy, okay? But before we do that, we want to think of our garnish. We want our cocktails to taste fabulous, but we want them to look just as good, okay? So we're going to take our peeler, or you can use a paring knife, and I'm just going to take a peel of my blood orange, and I'm going to set it aside for the garnish that we're going to use in a little bit. Okay, so I've got a nice peel. Mmm, smells so good. So just put that aside. And now 
we're going to take our blood orange, we're gonna cut it in half, and we want one ounce, okay? So I'm gonna use my juicer and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna pour it and juice it right into my jigger. But if you don't feel comfortable doing that, maybe get a glass or a bowl and juice into that because you can get, a, can get a little messy. But that's part of the fun, okay? And oh my gosh, every, the blood orange, the color of the blood orange, it's so beautiful. So you're gonna take a couple of those pieces. See that? I got it on my arm. <laughs> Talk about messy, right? And one more piece and then we'll be all set with our one ounce. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour that right into our shaker tin. Now, another variation of this that you can do uh, on when you wanna recreate this recreate fizz is you could add a little bit of vodka to this as well to make it a little bit more of a kick of a cocktail. All right, so I'm going to put in my blood orange juice, fresh squeezed, fresh is always best. And then I'm going to take a spoon or in my cocktail kitchen, a muddler, okay? A muddler, you're just gonna take this and you're going to push that cabochon because we want it all to get dissolved. So this is making what would be a cocktail syrup, like a simple syrup. So we're just gonna smush that. If you don't have a muddler, you can use a wooden spoon or back end of a spatula. And you're just going to, a twist of the wrist. We're not pulverizing meat or anything like that. We're just twisting it up. Now, it's important we wanna have cold cocktails, right? And so if you were going to make this a little bit more of a spirit forward cocktail, you would add in the vodka. You could add in tequila as well. But right now for tonight, we're just gonna add in the ice. So I'm gonna add in some ice. Got my, add in my ice here. And then in my shaker tin, I build the cocktail in the smaller end and then I put them together and I shake. So what we're gonna do is I want you guys to shake it to wake the flavors. You want the ice to go from one end to the other you're not only um, chilling the cocktail, you're aerating it and you're diluting it. So we're gonna shake together. We're gonna shake for about 10 seconds. Ready? Here we go. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You can feel it getting cold on your fingers. If I had a, a metal one that you could see, I mean, it is metal, but a silver tin, you'd be able to see the, the um, frost on the outside. So now we're gonna open it. And then one tool that I have in my cocktail kitchen is called a Hawthorne strainer. There's a little lip right here that you put your finger in and you're gonna use it to pull back as we pour it into our champagne flute. Now, if you don't have a Hawthorne strainer and maybe you were using a um, three piece or a cobbler shaker, there's a built-in strainer in that. If you're using something like a mason jar, you can use this lid and hold back the ice because all we want to get is that beautiful blood orange because what we have in our tin right now is our simple syrup that we just made together and our fresh squeezed blood orange juice. So I'm going to take it, I'm not going to spill it, I'm going to take my glass, put it right here and I'm going to pour in my finger right here and we're going to pour in right in and look at that gorgeous color. Now we get to add in the bubbly, right? So if you're, if you're going to imbibe with us and enjoy the champagne toast, you're gonna to pop your champagne. I hope you took a moment to pre-chill it. If not, and you have your, um, your LaCroix or your sparkling water, it's gonna be just as delicious with that. You wanna add that at this time. So. We're gonna take it and I did not add this into my tin. We don't add carbonation into a shaker tin, right? Cause that would go, we'd have a mess everywhere. So we're gonna take it and we're gonna pour it into our beautiful champagne flute. Now tilt it because you do have the foam, right? And you don't want it to spill all over. We wanna keep all that goodness in the glass. And before we get to cheers, everybody, we've got one last step to do. Okay, that orange peel that we did earlier and we put aside, 
Now, if yours looks anything like mine, it's kind of jagged, right? We want to make it look pretty. We're going to just take our knife and we're going to trim it. Nice flat edge. Another flat edge on the other side. And then, so it looks like this, okay? And now all we're going to do is we're going to take it and we're going to express the oils. So with the peel side down, express the oils over the cocktail. So now it's not only going to taste fabulous and look fabulous, but you get the sensory experience of the smell. And I'm taking it because now I have the oils on the peel, rubbing it around the outside of my glass. Now I could take it and just twist it and plop it in and that would be beautiful as well. But I'm gonna show you one other little tidbit that's super simple and it's kind of fun. And if you're making cocktails over the holidays for family, this might be a fun thing to do. I took a little slit in the middle. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Just saying hi to you, okay? And then I'm taking it and I'm gonna just round it just like this. And I'm gonna put it on the side of my glass. So my cocktail is smiling at you. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> if you guys have a glass in your hand and if you happen to have on speaker view, maybe put it on gallery view so we can all raise a glass and cheers to an amazing recreate night. Cheers. Cheers, to cheers all. everyone. Oh, thank you so much, Kenzie. We love that we have a cocktail made, especially for our community. And so thank you again for joining us. And we just want to welcome you all again. And for those of you who don't know anything about Recreate, we named our company Recreate really because of the double entendre of Recreate and Recreate. And we believe that to really create a better life and a create a better world, you need to have both. And recreation allows you to have that fun and free your mind. And recreation is all about sparking those new ideas and innovation. And that's what we're all about. So we're gonna take a toast again to create a better life and create a better world. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> Cheers. And we're gonna raise our glass again. Yay. To our, <laughs> you know, can't drink enough, right? To get started. Um, to Carvana. Carvana has recreated the way consumers buy cars and they are committed to promoting women in leadership, which is why we were really excited to partner with them. And who made this partnership possible is on, uh, on the Zoom tonight, Amory Barromeo. She's head of technology operations and we're so excited to have her support. So thank you, Amory, and cheers. Give us away. <laughs> Thanks, Amory. Yeah. So we have a lot of surprises in store for you tonight, including some guest star performances. At the end, we're gonna do a drawing for a Southwest gift card because we're hoping and praying that we're gonna fly again sometime soon. And then at the end of the night, we've got a special offer for you. But what's a happy hour without some tasty treats, yep. right? We have a cocktail, <laughs> now we need a little food. In your surprise and delight bag, you will find a box with some unique appetizers made by Dr. Siri Chand Khalsa. She is a medical doctor, very, very interesting background, medical doctor with expertise in Ayurvedic medicine. And um, I'm gonna actually share another brag with you. <laughs> She's not gonna be happy with me for doing this, but she was <laughs> handpicked by Deepak Chopra for his new project, which is gonna be here in Phoenix. Due to COVID, it's been postponed for now, but in the meantime, she's created a business as a chef and a caterer for, for Ayurvedic plant-based food. So these traits were specially prepared with the, cult with the cultivation of vitality in mind. So it's rejuvenation, vitality, that's what the ingredients are about. And she's here to tell us a little bit more about what those ingredients entail and why she chose them for us. So Dr. Siri Chan, thank you so much for being here. You may go ahead and take it away. Awesome. Hi, everybody. I, I think I'm a new face to a lot of you, so I'm delighted to be here. Thank you so much, Melissa, for the invitation. And we're going to go through our little treat bag here, and I'll explain a little bit as we go. Um, one of the things I'm excited about in this time is that people, and not everybody is excited about this, but people are home cooking more than they've ever cooked at any other junction in their life. 
And my background is in internal medicine. I did my training at the Mayo Clinic in Florida. I was in practice for 20 years. And after that period of time, I said, you know, food is medicine. And there's really not segues in medical practices to really provide people with information about that, that inspires them. So I transitioned out of my practice <clears throat> and have started working on all of these kind of different projects. And so the treats that you have in front of you are reflection of foods that I think work well for the holiday season. So let's take a look at some of the things that you've got in there. Now, I didn't make everything, nature made all of it. I helped her along a little bit, but let's talk about why I might've chosen some of these things. And one of the things that I really loved about this um, beautiful cocktail is that we brought natural fruit uh, into it. So as opposed to using a syrup, we use the natural fruit juices, which I think is really great. A lot of times the processed juices, and it's rich in anthrocyanins, which are these infection fighting phytonutrients. So I'm loving this cocktail and I'm enjoying sipping it. Now, one of the reasons why I chose everything that we have is that everything that you're eating is rich in either healthy fats or um, healthy phytonutrients and, um, fiber. So let's take a look at what we've got. And I am not a, um, what's the right word? I've never been someone that thinks like, oh, it's all or none. I definitely still have a little bit of sweets in my diet. And particularly, I like to put my focus on dark chocolate for that. So the first thing I'm going to have you take a look at, because in Ayurveda, believe it or not, we always start with the sweet treat first. So this is a funny thing, but it has to do with how food impacts our digestion. So this is a really fun thing. And also I wanted to just point out that I know a lot of, um, a lot of us sort of look for holiday gifts and ways to package food and kind of this array of treats might be something nice, not from me per se. I wouldn't project that I'm fully in the food industry just yet, but if you were putting something together for a family or for a friend or for your students, your children's teacher or something like that, this might be some good inspiration. But the first thing that's um, really fun is that basically you can melt dark chocolate chips in a double boiler and spread it out nice and thin on a piece of parchment paper and then load it up with all kinds of fun, uh, nutrient rich treats. Now, if you're a chocolate purist, you might not enjoy this as much, but over the years, I've kind of grown to love having different flavors. And the other thing is when you make the bark, if you will, you can make it a little thinner so the piece looks a little bigger. You know, sometimes they say a half ounce or an ounce of dark chocolate as a sweet treat. Well, sometimes that goes pretty quickly. So if you have this bigger piece of bark that's spread out of it, sometimes that goes pretty good. So in this one, we have um, a little bit of ginger, coconut and cram dried cranberry. And in the other one, we have a little bit of cinnamon and almonds. And almonds have these wonderful monounsaturated fats, which help uh, prevent heart disease, help us with inflammation, reduce inflammation. And cinnamon is known to help regulate blood sugar. So this is kind of a nice combination. I always try to sweeten things up a little bit when I'm baking or doing sweet treats with cinnamon because it gives a little extra sweet without having the, if you will, um, carbohydrate uh, load. So let's look at the next thing here. Um, we've got a little goodie bag of dried persimmons. So I brought the persimmons in because they're in season here right now. So hopefully with your mask on, if you will, you've been able to make it out to a local farmer's market. I found them to be extremely therapeutic through this um, process. Every week the farmers are still there, the local growers are still there. And right now persimmons are in season. So these also are rich in carotenoids. So the carotenoids are things that reduce inflammation, protect the skin, um, all kinds of things. And there's almost 26,000 phytonutrients that have not been fully categorized or recommended by the FDA. So I always say, you know, there's definitely a reason to have lots of bright food in your diet. 
Then we have some pistachios. And sometimes I like to do, and this is just a sort of mindfulness technique. Sometimes when we're sitting down to a cocktail party and there's a bowl of nuts and we just kind of grab a handful, you know, nuts are pretty calorie dense, but pistachios require a little bit of effort. They you take a moment, you can take the shell off. And so um, I've always found that pistachios are kind of a nice way to slow us down when we're trying to have a a treat during the cocktail hour. So kind of my intention for including those. And then we have um, flax crackers. Now these are my favorite flax crackers. And one of the things that we know is that the average person is only getting between seven to 10 grams of fiber a day, which is maybe not quite enough. Average, they want to, uh, the FDA recommends of 24, 25, but really I love it when people are getting around 40 and it feeds this generous uh, microbiome that's helping to regulate all kinds of um, pathways in the body. So these are not homemade by me. These are Mary's um, flackers, which you can get at Sprouts or Whole Foods. And I love these as a snack when you come home with a little bit of hummus gives you that nice umami. You know, sometimes when I would come home long day in the clinic, I would just be so hungry and need a little snack. And I always found these crackers were one of my favorite go-tos and they really help digestion and keep everything moving through in a really positive way in the gut. Then you have this last little thing and I'm gonna share some tips on this. So these are um, kale chips. Now, believe it or not, um, most people have tried a kale chip by now. When I first started kind of teaching and sharing, a lot of people were like, I don't know about a kale chip. Um, it's not a potato chip, it's not a corn chip. But sometimes we're just looking for that nice little crunch and a little bit of salt and kale chips are a great way to do it. T classically, um, kale chips were made in dehydrators, which are kind of bulky, um, difficult things. They were part of the raw vegan food community. They had all kinds of different flavors. But through the years, as again, as I've said, I've become a lot more practical. So these are just, so this is really easy to make, kind of like the chocolate bark. You know, you just do the chocolate over a double boiler, spread it out over parchment, throw whatever treats and goodies you have in your kitchen. Well, the kale chips can go in the oven at about 275, 300, depending on your oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. And they form these wonderful sort of delectable little salt crunchy bites. And there's so many different ways you can flavor them. So the particular whoops, flavoring that you have on these guys is um, nutritional yeast, which is a real favorite for people that are eliminating dairy or reducing dairy. Cumin and coriander, which are well known in Ayurvedic um, culinary medicine, if you will, for helping with digestion, a little bit of salt, olive oil, and some smoked paprika. And we just massage it together. And oh, and a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And you can massage that in the bowl, throw it in the oven, and voila, within minutes, 10 minutes or so, you can have a full, uh, full tray of kale. And kale, of course, is great for detoxification pathways. The phytonutrients that are present in kale provide us um, the particular components that help the liver do its job, that help the blood purification, help reduce inflammation and give us vitamin K, iron, vitamin C, magnesium. So a lot of times I would tell people, if you're really feeling low energy, bring in a half cup of greens into your diet every day. And if anyone's familiar, there's a wonderful book for people interested in plant-based eating called How Not to Die by Dr. Michael Greger that has what he calls the daily dozen, which is a place to kind of focus your energy. And I'll be sure to put a link to that image in the chat box so you guys can take a look at that, print a little copy of it, stick it on the fridge because we're coming into sort of round two of COVID and the cold and flu season. So it's not to say that the food per se will prevent you. It's not quite the same as saying that, but it gives your body a improved immunity so that let's say you were exposed to something, you have the capacity to kind of uh, navigate your way through it as easily as possible. So, um, and then we have, of course, a little bit of tea and everybody's got some slightly different ones. We've got a digestion tea with peppermint. Some have lemongrass, chamomile. Basic thing about the kale chips, the kale chips were the best I've ever tasted. So they were amazing. Thank you so much. 
Um, great. So uh, did you talk, did you already talk a little bit about the flax crackers? I did. Those, those okay. were also delicious. Yeah. So, and yeah, thank you so much. Like, you know, part of recreating for us is just having that healthy mind and body. And, you know, some of you know what recreate is all about. Um, and you're even ready for our first event. But for those of you who are new to recreate, um, we're going to share a little bit more with you tonight. Recreate is a think tank, mastermind, and accelerator all rolled into one. We call it an action tank. At Recreate, we support ambitious women, 50 and up, who are looking to find their purpose, make an impact, and leave a legacy. We are giving you the tools, experts, and community you need to turn any idea into a reality. So one element of Recreate is something that we call creation pods. Think of masterminds, small group of women, you know, who are going to discuss and solve and hold each other accountable. We talked to so many women before creating our action tanks and accountability was one thing that everyone agreed was important for success. So in a moment, we're going to break out and get a taste of those creation pods. Most of us have been so busy with work and world issues. Obviously <laughs> last week was a big one and our family, we haven't taken the time to think about our own dreams. This is a good chance, if you haven't been paying attention to your bucket list and what might be on it, that you might, and you might have even forgotten about some things that you love to do. Oh, actually, it reminded me of a story. So last week I was working with a group and we, I asked them to share a fun fact before we got started. And one woman said, you know, I just started roller skating again. I haven't been roller skating in 40 years. And I was like, I loved roller skating. <laughs> and so she shared that she bought actually those old fashioned four wheeled roller skates and she's off roller skating. And her colleague who had been working with her for years said, I had no idea that she started roller skating again. I love roller skating. I want to start roller skating too. And so she asked for the link to the roller skates and they had a lovely little chat. And for some reason, roller skating is making Maybe like a huge comeback. comeback. So exactly. you know, we believe here at Recreate that you're never too old um, for fun and experiences. And so we want you to kind of think about the things that you wanted to do, the places you wanted to go, the people you wanted to meet, anything and everything that's on your bucket list, because you're going to get into some breakout groups. You're going to have about 10 minutes to introduce yourself and share what's on that list. So we don't want you to filter anything. We want you to be creative. I will start and I will tell you one of the things on my bucket list is I'm a huge tennis fan. I play tennis. I could sit all day and watch tennis. And I have a dream of in one year seeing all grand slams. So that means starting in Australia, then going to Paris for the French, then Wimbledon and London for Wimbledon and then the U.S. Open. So my bucket list, that's the top of my list, doing all four Grand Slams in one year. I guess you better hope you win the Southwest <laughs> card, right? All right. So everyone, think about what you want um, to check off that bucket list and have fun in your breakout groups. For those of you who maybe haven't done breakout groups before, um, our producer, Kim Grimes, is going to put you into groups and you have to join the group. So you'll see it pop up on your screen that you've been asked to join a group and you're going to jump in. Uh, so just click accept or join or whatever the, whatever the prompt is. And then you'll be in a group with about four or five people to have a bit of a chat. You'll be there for about 10 minutes and then you'll be asked to then come back to the main plenary, but you'll have about 60 seconds to come back. If you could just make sure you take a bit of a look on the top of your screen, a blue bar may appear just to let you know, you know, that you have a couple minutes left or that you're going to be coming back to the main plenary. So just to give you some tips around that, if you haven't done breakout groups before. Have fun. We can't wait to hear what's on your list. Um, 
life. Grand slams on their bucket list. I don't actually have any grand slams. Maybe um, I want to do the Maldives. Okay, the Maldives is a good because I've done I've done Tahiti, I've done Kathmandu, Nepal. I've done like really obscure places. So next is the Maldives and I want to do an event at the Maldives. Mm. Okay. That sounds, that sounds like something that we could help you create. Uh, <laughs> the Olympics. Yes. I wonder, uh, that will be a fun one too. So did anyone have dancing with the stars on your bucket list? Or learning to dance. <laughs> because we're gonna bring you Dancing with a Star right now. So I hope that you're willing to put some things down and possibly get up and do a little boogie if you want. <laughs> Join us. Introducing Demir Karaman. He's a six time national champion, five time world champion and owner of Eurorhythm Dance Studio right here in Scottsdale. We love Demir for his boundless energy. He's so positive every time we speak to him. It's such a joy. And we are lucky enough now to learn a few dance steps with him. Take it away, Demir. Well, good Bye. evening, everybody. Bye. <laughs> good evening, everybody. It's my pleasure to be with you. And thank you, Melissa and Kim, for inviting me to be part of such a beautiful evening. Uh, also, I want to congratulate to all of you for joining Recreate Now uh, and deciding to put all of those dreams that you have in a bucket list into reality. I cannot wait to see how is that all going to look at the end of, all, all of this program. So I know that you're all intoxicated right now from those cocktails that you are fed also. So dinner and dancing sounds like a good idea. So since you're going to be creating a lot tonight, first of all, let's activate this creative energy. And as we all know, it's all in the hips. So it's all about that base. So I will ask you all to stand up and join me. So first of all, we are going to move those hips forward and backward. So just a little bit forward and back. Don't get any ideas, please. Or do however you wish. And then we're gonna move them a little bit side to side. And now we can make little circles. One direction circles. Very good, other direction circles. And now we will create figure eight. So figure eight with our hips. And now give me one big circle, big circle, one direction, big circle, other direction. Very good, everybody. So also I'm gonna show you some dance elements and after that, I'm gonna teach you one dance. So first of all, uh, we will start walking forward, just small steps, depends how much room do you have, that's your forward walking steps. Then we can walk backward. Then we can step side together, side together, side together. And we go to other direction, side together, side together. Those are your side steps. Then we can have triple step. We're gonna go side together, side, leave your feet apart, side together, side, leave your feet apart and side together, side, leave your feet apart, side together, side, leave your feet apart. Very good. And then we have one more element and that is our rock step. So we're gonna basically rock back, rock forward, rock back, rock forward, rock back, rock forward, rock back, rock forward. Very good. So now, are you ready to learn some salsa? So this is what we are going to have. We're gonna have Left foot forward for everybody. I'm gonna turn you uh, my back. So we're gonna have left foot forward, replace together. One more time. One, two, three. And then we're gonna have right foot back. One, two, three. Left foot forward. One, two, three. Right foot back. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Back, two, three forward and three, back and three. Or you can go backward as I go forward with your right foot and, I, and then go forward with left foot as I move this way. And one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we can do the same to the side. So ladies, you're gonna start with your right foot because you're always right. So we're gonna go side, side together and side, side together. One, two, three, 
One, two, three. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Again, right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Very good. And let's do that forward and back. So I'll invite you again one more time to step forward with your left foot. So you're going to go forward and two. And then, bam, bam. And the left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Excellent. Very good. How about if you try it with a little bit of music? Okay, I can't hear any of you. You're all muted, but let's give it a try. Yay! <laughs> all right. Let me see that. Come on, Lord, family, let's go for it. There you are. I like that. Ay, mamá, dime lo que quieres. Ay, mamá, no me tengas en ayuna. Ay, mamá, tu corazón me hiere. Very good, Jenny. Ay, mamá, eres mi sol y mi luna. Ay, mamá, tu corazón me hiere. Ay, mamá, no me tengas en ayuna. Ay, mamá, tu corazón me hiere. Very nice. Ay, mamá, tu corazón me hiere. 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 Ay, mamá, tu corazón me very good. Thank you again for inviting me to be part of this evening. And I can't wait to see what's going to happen when you combine your brain power with um, all your resources and networks to create something magnificent. Thank you so much, Jameer. That was so fun. So for everyone, just imagine each month getting to have time for yourself, have some fun, check those things off your bucket list. And that's really part of Recreate. And just look in your surprise and delight bag because Demir is such an amazing, thoughtful, wonderful partner. He has given everyone a gift certificate for a complimentary dance lesson. So book your lesson and have some more fun. So one of our core values at Recreate is let enjoyment lead. And I want to tell you a story about that <laughs> because it was so exciting when we first heard the phrase let enjoyment lead. Kim and I started Recreate in Sedona, and we actually only had the intention to go away for a weekend and have some fun. And so I booked something that's on my bucket list, which is painting. So I booked a painting class with a, an artist in Sedona. It was really special. And we were painting the red rock. And he's teaching me a little bit about the color and the shadow. And I'm, you know, painting away there. And he just kind of gave me some space to paint. And I started to get a little frustrated and I got hung up on the color or the shadow. And he leaned over my shoulder and quietly said to me, let enjoyment lead, Melissa. And I got goosebumps all over my body and I went, let enjoyment lead. And I broke through and I finished the painting and it's by no, by no means a masterpiece. It's but good. <laughs> it is good. Better than I could do because I didn't take the class. But I ran back to the casita and I said to Kim, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to let enjoyment lead, not only for our own lives, but we want to help everyone we know to let enjoyment lead. And that's really what we want to do. You know, painting was all about recreating. And we truly believe that, you know, that fun and that joy leads to creativity. And creativity really brings out this contagious electric energy. You know, that's what happened. Melissa came back and she was all excited and we started bouncing ideas of, around and more ideas kept sparking creativity. And just imagine that when you're in a room full of amazing, inspired women and you're infusing that energy with people who want to make an impact, level up and raise the bar, that's when the sky's the limit. And that's what's going to happen at Recreate. As a member of Recreate, you will be part of a nine month program with four live meetings. 
Each event will take you through the process of creating, building, and executing. So we start with visioning and refining your idea. Then we focus on building the plan, then followed by learning how to market, sell, and get access to capital. At the end of the nine months, you will have everything you need to bring your idea to life. Okay, so just some highlights, because tonight is just supposed to give you a taste, but we're super excited about some of the people that are playing with us. We have a keynote speaker who's a three-time Emmy Award-winning journalist and just all around amazing human being who is recreating all the time, and that's Catherine Anaya. And then we're going to have a fireside chat with pro golfer Christy Kerr, who has recreated and started her own wine winery and we're going to be doing some wine tasting at Kerr Cellars and then we've got some incredible workshops planned for you. One is with Golden Seeds and Golden Seeds is an investment firm that really focuses on helping women leaders and then we also have the amazing Courtney Klein who is co-founder of Seedspot and she's helped thousands of, of entrepreneurs and so really our goal at Recreate is to serve you up everything you need to ensure that you can execute any idea, not just effectively, but also efficiently. Recreate is a place for inspiration, knowledge, access to the best of the best, and the one place where you can truly have it all. We're going to recreate and recreate, and we're going to be unapologetic in pursuit of our dreams. If you're like us, and you know you're made for more, then Recreate is for you. If you have an idea that you've been thinking about, we're gonna make it happen. And so really just dig deep because most of us have something that keeps popping into our minds. Maybe it's a business idea. Maybe it's a book you've been wanting to write. Maybe it's just, you know, some product or maybe there's a charity or a company that you've been dying to work for. Something that you've wanted that maybe you've been just scared of or maybe you've been thinking about it but just don't know where to start. Mm -hmm. We've been so inspired by our mentors, our, sorry, our members' ideas that we know will truly create a better world. And we also have heard some of the things that are holding you back and that, and Recreate is about giving you that roadmap, expertise, and connections to create anything you want. So we want you to dig deep now and share some of those ideas with other people. We're going to get into breakout groups one more time. You're going to be with some new people and this is really the creation pods. And so start thinking about, you know, what would you love to create if you weren't worried about having time or money or financing, or if you thought that you had everything you need and you weren't worried about, I don't know how to sell or I don't know how to start a business. Just what would you love to create? And remember, let enjoyment lead. Have fun. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. Woo. All right. Well, I hope people were inspired and if anyone heard something that inspired them or had an inspiring idea, we'd love to see that in the chat. Imagine being able to showcase this idea that you just shared in front of people who can make it happen and win startup capital. We have put together our own shark tank. We call it a dolphin tank because they're smart, supportive, <laughs> sweet women <laughs> who have successfully built businesses and brought big ideas to life. The Dolphin Tank will operate as mentors to our members, and they will hear the presentations of all the ideas and decide which member will win monies from the Recreate Fund. Yes, we've put together a fund because we want to 
recycle capital back into our members. We are lucky enough to have a few dolphins with us tonight. Christy Kerner, founder of My Little Mascara Club, who has generously provided you a gift in your surprise and delight bag. And by the way, it is honestly the best mascara I've ever used. I know that sounds cheesy, but I actually really <laughs> mean it. I told, I've told her that like three times. I really mean it, it's great. It's vegan and cruelty-free and it works fabulously. So thank you, Christy. And hi, uh, wave to us if you like. Um, other dolphins include Francine Hardaway, whose business is to support entrepreneurs, Kathy Blackwell, who has owned 4,000 franchises worldwide. Amazing. She really <laughs> knows how to make businesses scale. Heidi Janenga, who's co-founder of arguably the most successful tech company in the Valley here, WebPT, and Stacey Easterling, who the vice president of programs at the Piper Foundation is brand new to Phoenix. So give her a warm welcome. Welcome, Stacey. Um, so all of you, give, if you can, give a wave because we'd love to see who you are. Um, great. Go to our website partners page to learn more about these brilliant and accomplished women. So if you haven't figured it out, our whole philosophy is to work hard <laughs> and play hard. And at the end of each workshop, during the nine month program, we're going to throw big, I mean, big blow up parties that are going to be really designed to spark creativity, give you lots of new experiences. And there's so many special activities and performances planned that we cannot even wait for January to start. That's right. And tonight we're going to, I already have goosebumps. Tonight we will give you a little taste of something special. I mean, very special. We have a guest star performance by a nationally recognized performance artist, Lady Caress. She has prepared this piece just for Recreate. We want to introduce the talented, the amazing, the fabulous Lady Caress. All right, thank you so much. Can you guys hear me? Is everything coming through clearly? It awesome, is. Awesome. Great, great, great. Well, I am so excited, first off, to be here and to be with you all. I have my cocktail, too. I didn't make it with you guys, but I have been sipping myself, so kudos to that, right? Um, so let's go. Let's go. Let's go ahead. We lost her. You muted yourself. Thank you. Thank you. So you guys are about to. You've done it again. We can't hear you, Caress. Sorry. Sorry, is that better? Yes. Yeah, we got you. Awesome. You're going to have to keep your hands still there. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry about that. All right. Can you guys hear? All right. Here we go. So you guys are starting something new. So before you start, let's re, ever re, re, ever re, re, rewind for a moment. And y'all remember what it felt like to work that muscle of imagination. You know, at my very first business meeting, and I mean like seriously ever, <laughs> three Care Bears sat across from Teddy Ruxpin while we strategized ways to entice investors, my parents, into supporting my candy business. Now, do you guys remember that joy and excitement of starting something new? That revving of the engine, the hope for success. Well, it's been years since I've sold any pieces of candy, but my internal drive to want to do something remains an itch that I must scratch. And since, ladies, well, I've learned that there are those who accept the world as is, and us, those who turn opinions and ideas into facts. So what does it mean to start fresh, to re, ever re, re, ever re, 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 imagine what was in a brand new light? Well, y'all, my poetry began as written art. I mean, I spent hours sifting through a thesaurus all in search of the perfect rhyming word. I mean, I literally lived my life thinking that poetry was meant to be read, not heard. And whether I was writing about love or epiphany or even rage, my entire world, my scope was limited to chat books and libraries and I left it all on page. But everything changed for me, y'all, the moment that a friend invited me to an event. It was 8 p.m. on a Tuesday night, and me, lover of the arts, attended an open mic where poetry was read aloud. And there was no page. And y'all, for the first time, I witnessed the magnetic power of spoken word live on stage. And at that moment, I began to re, ever re, re, 
it will re re reimagine. And I allowed my poems to leap from the page. I don't know what came over me, but I signed my name on that open mic list. Y'all, I walked on stage and stood there sweating and afraid. And I realized that, you know, pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone is honestly the only way that we grow. We must believe that our shaking knees are going to turn into rooted trees amidst the mightiest wind blows. And take hold of new opportunities with confidence. And that's exactly what I did. I began to re 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 invent myself as a spoken word artist. I mean, I went to libraries and attended all kinds of open mics. And y'all, if I was going to attend an open mic, I was going to make that mic drop. <laughs> Blood, sweat, and tears is what I put into those years. And I elevated to a level of sold out crowds with tears. But ladies, when your, your position becomes too familiar, well, that's a sign. I'm going to say that again. When your position becomes too familiar, y'all, that's a sign that it's time to test yourself, shake things up a bit, get a brand new perspective, shine a new light, return to your grit, and re 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 mix it. Like my father used to say, Caress, you got to get you a bag of tricks. And that bag, well, it's filled with new inspirations, like a new coat that you wear to make people notice and pay attention to whatever it is that you do. Well, I've always had this attraction to music. And so I, I found this as a way to fuse music with my poetry. And what began as two drumsticks, well, turned into my bag of tricks, as I began to take it from beating on tabletops to beatboxing with my lips. And y'all, I began to... And music was found everywhere for me. I mean, it was in the air that I breathe, and I began to weave it with my notes and my beats so carefully, and my art, my reach became endless, all stemming from my commitment to re ever re 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 ever re 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 imagine. And because I re ever re imagine, the possibilities are endless. Ladies, I encourage you to give yourself permission to create and dream and explore to reevaluate what you're doing and what you've done. Re ever re re reimagine, re ever re re remix, re ever re 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 create something new. Because, ladies, the work is ongoing. I mean, there's no destination, there ain't no final hour. And if we rejuvenate, remain willing and ready, well, y'all, I believe that we can change this world with our superpowers. Thank y'all so much. Drink it up, lady. Let's take a sip. <laughs> so recreating. Oh my gosh, Lady Caress, you blow me away. Thank you so much. We're gonna like have that as our we're gonna have that as our like our theme words. I mean, everything you said, I mean. Whew, what an inspiration. I mean, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love reimagining. I love what you said about, you know, if the position you're in is too familiar, it's a sign. Everyone here really has superpowers. And, you know, that's what we want to help bring out with Recreate, you know, and we, we so believe in what we're doing and what we're embarking on that we guarantee that Recreate is going to be a trans of experience for you. And tonight was just a taste. It was just a taste to give you a sample of what's in store for you. And a couple of things that you should know before we close the night, before we draw for that Southwest gift card is that space is limited for us. Um, we want to make sure that, you, you know, everyone that is involved is excited and really ready to level up and really believes that they're made for more. And we can't wait to like lock arms with you because we're really counting on you to level up with us so we can create a better life and a better world. To thank you for being with us, we're offering a special event rate that is exclusive to all the women here. It's actually a 20% savings. So if you wanna grab the link in chat, do that now. And we've made it easy for you. You can pay monthly, but the offer expires Friday. Remember Recreate kicks off in January. So we wanna get started. 
Uh, we've got a bunch of members already, but as Kim said, we do have limited space, but we'd love to make the offer to those of you who we can, who can jump in now. Um, we're looking forward to creating with you. And now, but wait, there's more. <laughs> we're gonna give away um, something because we know that there's a million things to do in your evening. We know that you've been on a million Zoom calls. And so we hope tonight was just a little taste and a little treat for you. And we want to thank you. So we're gonna shake it. Maybe. Okay, shake so it. That, you know, people don't think it's rigged. <laughs> All right. So the lucky winner of the gift card is Anna Almond. So well, way to go, Anna. We'll be sending you your gift card soon. And then one last thank you. Check your email. Yep. So thank you again very much to Carvana for your sponsorship. Thank you so much to our performers, Demira Kataman, also Dr. Siri Chand, and of course, Lady Caress. And thank you, Kim, for being tonight's producer. It was so helpful to have you on board with us. So we wish all of you a fabulous night. Thank you for recreating with us. Bye, everyone. <laughs>